Wolfsburg remain 100% over in the Bundesliga as Bayern breathe down their necks. But what about RB Leipzig? Are they going to be in a bit of trouble this season? We'll take a little look at it next. That's right, folks. I want to give another prediction video today. We're looking forward to match day number five in the Bundesliga. And we'll get to it in just one second. If you're new, where you been? Smash your subscribe and get your bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related. Uh, Bundesliga related. Oh, football related. We got it all here. Under Waruski. That's right, boys and girls. Of course, yes. Uh, Bayern, back to winning ways, of course, looking good at the top of the table. Of course, Munchen Gladbach got themselves uh, back to winning ways. But, of course, no one's stopping Wolfsburg right here right now. And, of course, can they keep their heat going into this weekend's matches? We'll take a look at that and more in just one second. Of course, if you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe. Of course, a big, big shout-out to my mother, me, our peas. We're talking about the pea, a tree, on oh, boys and girls. Big, big shout-out. And we've actually got two brand-new patrons this past week. Conor Medlin, uh, Andrew Watton, I think. Uh, was it Jim Watton? I always get the name. Is made mental up. It's Mr. Wooten, that's why. So, big, big shout out to you uh, for becoming the latest member of the gang. If you want to join uh, Mr. Watton and, of course, uh, Mr. Medlin, get involved with the link down below. Co uh, it's patreon.com forward slash overseas. Get involved. And, of course, give you a bit of a spoiler, a bit of an insider here. I'm actually going to revamp the perks and the privileges for the Patreon. Um, we are going to have a brand new channel starting. It's it's completely new. It's, it's not football related for the most part. <coughs> it may develop into that. Excuse me, but uh, once an, it's, it's going to be like a daily vlogging kind of channel behind the kind of scenes, doing bits and pieces, looking at what it's like to be a, a British person in the United States and all that kind of stuff. That's coming up, and of course, patrons will get first look at those videos when they come around. So, of course, one of the new perks uh, to that. And again, that'll be starting very, very soon. Uh, but anyway, we've got a lot to cover here today, so let's get in the deep end and get in and have a look at it because uh, we've got to, we've got some stuff, we've got some stuff to talk about. Uh, so, let's get into it though. Here we go. Uh, recap the games last time around. Goals galore here between Leverkusen and Bar uh, Borussia Dortmund. Seven goal thriller. Excuse me. Went in favour of Dortmund in the end. Last I think it was Haaland penalty. Well, it was around about seven odd minutes or something like that. Give them the win. Uh, Union Berlinius Augsburg end up as a 0-0 draw. 2 0 win for me. Shame on me. Freiburg against uh, Köln end up 1-1 in the end. Got the one bang on point. Uh, Mio Mainz with a big away days win over Hoffenheim. 2 0 win on the road for them. Gratha Firth lost to of course Wolfsburg. Top of the table. Four wins from four for them. Leipzig against Bayern got battered, of course, 4 1 at home. 3 1 win was my pick. And of course, Frankie did uh, draw against Stuttgart, 1 1 in the end. Bochum against Hertha Berlin, 3 1 win for Hertha Berlin on the road. And of course, Gladbach uh, picked up a win at Armenia, uh, Armenia Bielefeld, 3 1 in the end. Got myself 4 out of 9, which is 50 50. Uh, this is the situation in the table. Uh, of course, so we do have Wolfsburg running supreme at the moment. Is that 100%? I think, is that right? Uh, it is, it is right, of course, 100%. Of course, Bayern there, uh, breathing down the next Dortmund up to third down. Mainz, look at that, up to fourth. You would have, who'd have thought it? Graf the first, Augsburg in a bit of trouble. Hertha Berlin, also not out of the woods yet. Do uh, Gladbach down to 11th, a win for them in the next game. They could go as high as sixth. That's what we need to see. Uh, what do we got going on here? This is the prediction league for this week and this week alone. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. There's Jim Wooten up there, of course, a new, new patron. Well done to you, sir. Well done to you. Uh, up to eighth, though. But Paul Burden and MCO back are your prediction kings for this week and this week alone. Uh, of course, let's take a look at the overall situation. Uh, here we go. Of course, the Nadek M is your man. He's your, he's your king ping at the moment. You've got to respect him because he is your prediction king. Uh, he's actually one point better off than Tom Stone and James BCFC are great. Now, I did go through this and try and clean it up a little bit. But what we have to talk about is... Do -do 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 I believe it is the predictor of the month. Let's talk about this. Of course, we are into the month of September now. Of course, last week's matches was part of September. So we're going to go back to the month of April, uh, August and, of course, reveal uh, the predictor of the month. But let's talk about what the predictor of the month it actually is. So the winner of uh, each and every month uh, gets one ticket into the uh, predictor of the month grand prize draw at the end of the season. Uh, now, the winner of the, the, the PTOMT, whatever that is, a prize will be selected by random so let's just say uh we have we because because i want to explain let's just say we have 12 winners of the ptotmf or whatever uh, over the course of the season those names will be into like a spinning thing or a, a random name generator of course like that and of course we'll let the computer decide the winner so uh but of course if you win multiple uh, predictors of the month. Basically, you get more ent entrance uh, and 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 uh, tickets to, uh, to any. You would get more golden tickets to the predictor of the month 
prize at the end of it. Uh, so also want to elaborate. I was going to make it only uh, individual winners of the the PTO and MTF, but uh, of course. Uh, I've decided against that now. So if there are multiple winners, let's say two, three, four, seven, uh, they will all have a, a, a ticket into the, the grand prize at the end of it. Uh, so just to elaborate here, if, if you do win December and March, PTUMF, you have two entries to win the grand prize. And the grand prize is likely to be uh, a T-shirt or a $10 Amazon card. So I'm not made of money, guys. I'm not bloody made of money. But of course, it'll be it'll be something, uh, something hopefully that uh, that you can, uh, you can, you can, you know, cherish a little bit and, you know, a bit of pride. If it is a t-shirt, it should have, and again, I'm, I'm getting onto those t-shirts very, very soon. In fact, you might even be able to see them on the vlog, vlogging video. So, the predictor of the month for August, da -da -da -da, and there's two of them. It is Nanakam and Russell Frost. Let's give her a round of applause. Well done to you. Well done to you, of course. So those two names will now go into the hat at the end of the season and, of course, uh, will be part of the Predictor of the Month. So here is the current leaderboard or the current situation for the Predictor of the Month for the Bundesliga and the Bundesliga alone. Uh, <coughs> so for August, we have two winners. And in September, we will take up the scores that you have in September and who has the most in that month of September. Not the leaderboard winner, but the, the guy who or the person who got the most points in the month of September. So uh, Nanakem and Ross Foss both had the same uh, points. So they are in of the hat at the end. Whew, there we go. So let's get into the next round of matches. Da -da 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 -da, predictor of the month. Uh, so here we go. If you want to get involved with September, of course, we've already had one week, so you're playing catch up a little bit if you're new to the scene. Uh, you just use this code Cutley for slash Bundesliga. It is free to enter. So let's get into it. Of course, let's take a look at the next round of matches. I'm going to start at the tip of the top there, of course, with Hertha Berlin up against Graf the Fourth. Now, these matches will take place on the weekend. So let's get cracking. Take place on the 17th of September of Hertha Berlin against Graf the Fourth at the Olympic Stadion. Of course, played each other two times in 2010. Two was Hertha, another for Graf the Fourth, and zero draws. Uh, last time we played each other in uh, Berlin was a 2 0 win for Berlin back in uh, October 2010. Uh, of course, coming into the back of this one, what do we have of this? <coughs> Excuse me, uh, Hertha Berlin. Coming to the back of that win against Bochum. Meanwhile, Graf the Firth coming to back to back losses against Mainz and Wolfsburg. Back to back games without scoring a goal as well. Uh, the situation in the table sees uh, Berlin uh, at a 16th at the moment. Graf the Firth are in, in trouble down the foot of the table with zero points uh, on the road. Uh, just one point all season. Look at, the, look at the odds on this one 64 on Isha Berlin on this one 54 Isha Graf the Firth and 3 to 1 Isha Draw. All eyes on this one taking place on the Friday as well. Going to go with a win for the hosts on this one. 1 0 win for Berlin. That's right. Next, of course, they're buying up against Bochum uh, over at the Allianz Arena, that's right, taking place on the 18th of September. Uh, played each other 30 times since 1992, just a 1-win for Bochum, 22 wins for Bayern, and of course 7 draws. The biggest win for Bayern was a 5-1 win, the biggest win in the airway was a 1-0 win. Uh, last time around, uh, over in Bayern was a 3-1 win in the Bundesliga back in uh, May 2010. Uh, of course, they played each other 4 times on the road, uh, in Bochum, sorry, uh, 3 times actually in, in competitive action, all in the DFB Pokal, and all wins for Bayern in the end. Bayern coming to this winning 5 on the bouts in all competitions, meanwhile Bochum coming to this without a win in three uh, Bochum coming to this on the back of that loss to Berlin of course Bayern coming to this on the back of that win against Leipzig uh, look at the odds on this one we have uh, 16 to 1 is your is your hosts 21 uh, 22 to 1 long shots that's your Bochum 11 to 1 is your draw 3-0 win in the bag for Bayern for me at the Allianz Arena next up of course Mainz up against Freiburg let's get into this Badger then shall we uh, of course Taking place also on the 18th at the Opel Arena. Played each other 39 times since 1997. 16 wins for Mainz, 13 wins for, for, for Freiburg, and 10 draws. The biggest win for Mainz over Freiburg was a 5 0 win. The biggest win the other way was a 3 0 win. Last time played each other, of course, over in uh, Mainz was a 1 0 win for Mainz back in March 2021. Uh, Mainz competition just one defeat the past six games. Of course, Bo Svensson is the manager these days. Uh, that one defeat was, uh, we'll tell you, I'll tell you, was against. Uh, Bochum back in the, se the second day of the Bundesliga campaign. Uh, coming into the Mainz did beat Hoffenheim last round. Of course, uh, Freiburg uh, picked up a draw against Köln last round. The odds on this one, Mainz are even. Stevens 5 to 2 is your away win. That's Freiburg. They are the underdogs. Uh, and 30 to 5 is your draw on this one. Going to go with a win for Mainz on this one. They got the bit, bit, the bit, bit between the teeth. And they're up there at the tip of the top of the table. Of course, looking very, very good for themselves. Meanwhile, Augsburg will take a my boys, Borussia and Richard Gladbach uh, this coming weekend. We'll push other 23 times since 2007. Six wins for Augsburg, nine wins for Gladbach, and eight draws. The biggest win for Augsburg. Augsburg was a 3-1 win. The biggest win the other way was a 5-1 win. Last time I played each other over in Augsburg was, when was it? It was back in last season, 2009. 
season. 3-1 win for Augsburg back in March 2021. They come into it, though, Matt Augsburg, without a win in four. Gladbach Edmonton with the first win in four for them. 58% uh, form for them up against Augsburg's 50. Uh, of course, coming in, says Augsburg did draw with Union Berlin on the road. Gladbach picked up a 3-1 win at home against Bielefeld. Look at the odds on this one. 60-5 is your Augsburg, 65 on is your Gladbach, and 30-5 is your draw. Going to go with a win for Gladbach on the road on this one to make it back-to-back -back wins. Next, up, we of course, have a, a local team for me. Uh, where my parents live not far away is Bielefeld up against Hoffenheim. Pleasure the four times since 2008. Two was Hoffenheim. No, no wins for Bielefeld and uh, two draws. Bielefeld competitions one defeat past six for them. Uh, back to back defeats for Hoffenheim. They could be in a bit of trouble this season. Uh, coming into last time pleasure that in Bielefeld was a 1 1 draw back in May 2021. Uh, Bielefeld competitions on the back of that loss against Gladbach. And of course, Hoffenheim coming, in, coming into this on the back of that loss against Mainz. The odds on this one we have 5 to 2 is your Bielefeld. Even Steam is your Hoffenheim. 13 to 5 is your draw. The bookies are fancy in Hoffenheim on this one. For me, I'm going to go with Bielefeld, I think. 2 1 win. Uh, yeah, Hoffenheim are a bit, uh, I'm a, a bit concerned. I'm a bit concerned about them and also about a bit concerned about the next away team. That's, of course, RB Leipzig. They go to Köln this weekend. Uh, of course, they've been pleasure that eight times in the past 2016, uh, eight times since 2016, four was for Leipzig, two for Köln, and two draws. The biggest win for Köln over Leipzig, 2 1 win. The biggest win the was a 4 1 win. Uh, of course, Köln coming to this, uh, just one defeat by six for them, 67% for Meanwhile, Leipzig, just uh, one win in four games for them concerning times. Of course, lots of pleasure that in Köln was a 2 1 win for Köln back in April 2021. Leipzig coming to this on the back of that loss against Bayern at home. Of course, uh, Köln coming to this on the back of that away day uh, point against Freiburg. Look at the odds on this one. 7 2 is your Köln, 10 7 on is your Leipzig, and 3 1 is your draw. I've got a bit of a concern about Leipzig. I think they might get something out of this, but I think it could be concerning time or worrying times, of course. When you go from Nagelsmann to Jesse Marsh, I think there might be a bit of a, 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 a bit of a gap in that. Uh, I, I like Jesse Marsh. I think he. I think this might be a bit too much for him to take at the moment. I don't, I don't want his reputation to be tarnished. Uh, I, I wouldn't have loved to see him in the championship, to be fair. Um, but uh, going straight to the Bundesliga. But hey, that's the way they go. So it's the RB, the RB system at the moment. The Rathenball Sport Leipzig system. Anyway, let's get, get into the next one. It is Stuttgart. It, it is uh, Leverkusen. This is on to Sunday, September the 19th. They play each other 56 times in 992. 11 wins for Stuttgart, 35 wins for Leverkusen, and 10 draws. The biggest win for Stuttgart, 3 0 win. The biggest win the other way was a 6 1 win. Uh, of course, coming into Stuttgart, just uh, uh, two wins in the past five games. So there. Meanwhile, Leipzig just one defeat in the past six. That one defeat was against Dortmund, uh, which was last time around. Of course, Stuttgart took on Frankfurt last time around. Last time pleasure though over in uh, Stuttgart was a 1-1 draw back in uh, October 2010. Uh, the away size hasn't won in this match since, uh, since 2019 when Leverkusen picked up a win against Stuttgart 1-0 on the road uh, on this one. Actually, looking at this, Leverkusen haven't lost in 2018 against Stuttgart, so they're actually uh, five games unbeaten against Stuttgart on this. Look at the odds on this one. 5-2 is your Stuttgart. Even Stevens is your Leverkusen. And 11-4 is your draw. 2-1. Uh, Leverkusen on the road. Away day win for them. Next up we have Dortmund. It's the yellow and black machine up against Union Berlin. Berlin. Let's get into this one then, shall we? Of course, Berlin can be uh, tricky opponents. They actually come into this on beat in the last six games, picking up three wins and three draws. Dortmund come into this back-to-back -back wins for them, uh, with, of course, a 67% form. These two sides have played each other eight times since 2006. Eight, uh, six wins for Dortmund, two wins for Berlin, no draws. Uh, of course, last time played each other in Dortmund was a 2 to win for Dortmund. The away side has not won this match uh, since 2016 in a friendly, so it doesn't really count anyway. So the home side is usually backed on this one, of course, and Dortmund are, are your hosts on this one. They come into the back of that seven-goal through against Leverkusen, of course, Berlin coming into in, this unbeaten last three games. Uh, and, of course, they come into the back of that draw against Augsburg. Look at the odds on this one. We have Dortmund, 5-2-1 to for the victory, 6-1 is your, is your long shots, that's Union Berlin, and 4-1 to one is your draw. Of course, Dortmund will win this one, 3-1 win for me to take to the bank. And then finally, it's the leaders. Wolfsburg up against Frankie, of course. Pleasure the 42 times since 1996. 21, 21 wins for Wolfsburg, 8 wins for Frankfurt, and 13 draws. The biggest win for Wolfsburg over Frankfurt was a 3 0 win. The biggest win the other way is a 4 0 win. Uh, of course, coming in to unbeat the last five games, that's Wolfsburg. Meanwhile, Frankfurt without a win in five for them. Uh, picking up a lot of draws, though. Last time I played over in Wolfsburg was a 2 1 win back in December 2020. Uh, and again, uh, heading into this, of course, Wolfsburg did take on Gratha Firth and they won them, beat them last time around on the road. Frankie coming to us on about three draws on the bounce, uh, drawn with Stuttgart, Bielefeld, and Augsburg over the course of the last three matches. Look at the odds on this one 5 4 on is your Wolfsburg, 14 5 is your draw, 3 1 is your long draws. That's Frankie on this. Uh, Wolfsburg win this one to remain top of the pops in my eyes. Of course, what do you guys think? Be sure to get your picks in, of course, if you want to be in the mix for not only Predictor of the Month, but of course, get yourselves in the leaderboard to see how. 
how you can fare next time around, of course. But that, my friends, is what I've got for you. Be sure to give the video some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Check out the links down below. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Twitch, I'm on Facebook, and of course, I am on Patreon. If you want to become the latest brother from another mother, and of course, best mate for life, get involved. Patreon.com forward slash overseas. Join the likes of Connor Madeline and of course, Jim Watton, of course. Big, big shout out to you guys for becoming Patreons this past week. Whoop, 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 whoop. Anyway, until then, I'll see you soon. Of course, busy old week. Of course, Champions League. Make sure you check out those videos, get your picks in for that. But until then, we are done.